Keep angry, darling. I like him angry. You just get home safe, ma'am. Guess that's that, Dan.
Yep. Yep. Hold on there, girl. <laughs> Come on, girl. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <laughs> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of them. I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. Looks like back like blood to me. Shit. And what's this? Found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. Okay. Grubs <clears throat> up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look. I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Shut it. Oh. 
I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. <laughs> Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. This is this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this wreck? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret. We got to talking, and you can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up in that sun. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out? Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go, whole caravan toppled. We found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. You ever want to get in the sideshow business? I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to the better women than me. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted to. Mr. Margaret! Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good! Jolly good! You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin.
get my repeater. We got a cursed creature in here. Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looked like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A, a dog? Now, you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Yeah, boy. Didn't look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do.
Hans! Sally, get the cages ready! Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away! A man-eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes, one man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here. And we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Uh, Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Okay, girl.
Ma'am. Ah! Oh, dear! How you doing? Never been happier. Quite right. When Hughes, start yeah. picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I can get it for you, but, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard, and stay close, hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you, you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long uh, past prudishness. It's... Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation.
Hello there, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Hmm, well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Sure would. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you back to... I'm gonna beat you, boy! Ah, uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Quick, take it before somebody sees us. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. I can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's your... Been clear what I, what I owe you. I think I should be alone, mister. Yeah, I, I pay for my shit. Pay with my body and my mind. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. Well, thank you. Hey, see, where you from? Around. 
Ain't from around here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. I can scarcely believe it. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh... That's too bad. Still on kind. I've been waiting on that. Oh, hey, fellas. I am. Hello, worried. Dab. Dab. Uh, Dab. Where are you? Where are you? Money to be made on the new railroad. There you are. Why, hello there, sir. Hello there. This is really worrying. Don't repeat this, but I just heard them. Surely not the first time. Morning. Oh, that's really... 
Hey, folks. And a very good morning to you. Hello there. Y'all in here to show it? Good day. Well, we out there fire. Settle down, fella. Loonies. Sunday Southerner. You're in my spot. <laughs> now get! Oh, there ain't no cause, no more. Don't pretend otherwise. Find uh, an entrance. Down. Move along. We ain't looking for your company. All right, don't get all worked up. Hit the trail. Come on. Damn fools. No one wants you here. Hey, now. You're going to leave here. You got me? OK. You don't leave, I'll make you leave. That's simple. Guess you want a piece. Why can't you write us leaving at the door? Please, fellas. <laughs> Let's see if we can't clobber some scissors. Uh, what can we play at your funeral? I'm standing. This is just just too bad. Morning. Sir, good morning. Let's do your best. This job is like any other. Hard. Good work. Hello, ladies. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you did. Good day so far? Oh? I mean, nobody's seen hide nor hair on me. Got any idea what time it is? Anyway. Best ask someone else about that. So... Yeah, no problem. Take care now. Bye, then. How's it going? I'm hoping tomorrow will be better. Sorry to hear that. Good luck. Okay. Be seeing you. Hit me. Hey, and 15. Fella? Well, I hope you aren't planning for any more riffraff with any of those raiders. I'm glad we are still producing gentlemen. Nice right? to see you, ladies. I wish my wife How do you do? The same. You lot doing all right there? Well, good morning to you, sir. Good morning to you, sir. Say what you want about the people around here. They're friendly. Oh. All best now. Bye now. Well, I shouldn't say, but... Poor Louise caught her husband and the house girl doing some very un-Christian behavior. Good morning. There Good are morning to you. too many things we can't control. I reckon it's you.
That's what the saying. I reckon it's you teaches the sun to shine. Oh, you're making me blush. Oh, I am so worried. Job. Job. Seventeen. Thank <laughs> you.